Well, these home fans can certainly give a boost to one of the hottest teams in hockey right now. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. This team is coming right now. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Quick feed to champion. Shot denies him! No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And that's stolen by Johns. There he is on the redirect. Came up with the save on that play. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And they send it right back to him. Champions got it along the wing. So they've been on fire tonight. I'm excited to see the rest of this game. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes it at center. Sends it out in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Well, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Burks is a player the opposition should not be giving time or space to because he uses that one T zone ability and capitalizes off those one-timers. Teammates love to set him up because he puts everything he's got behind those shots. Let's see who sets him up here. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Champion's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Hammers it off net. Too many bodies in the way. And he moves it up to Suzuki. Rocks him on the play. Comes up with the stop. Minnesota's firing on all cylinders here early in this one, and they lead. The Canadians take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponents think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. And that goes off course off a body. Redirected off a stick. Takes the pass. Wow, what a stop by Wah! Taken along the wall by Perron. Gains the zone through the middle. All alone! Oh, what a fantastic save there! Such quick hands, but he's in tight. And when you move them fast, you don't force them to move. And the goaltender's able to read it, track it, and make the save. The Canadians have it now. Minnesota's got it now. Moves it to Michael. Picks off the pass. Perron's got it in the defensive zone. playing time 
left in this frame. Minnesota's up one zip. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Tosses it on to Prosser. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Montreal's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to Samar. The Canadians take it across the blue line. Takes the shot. Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. More than half the frame has been played here. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Here's a short pass to Kobe. Great save from in tight. He really owns the crease when he drops into that butterfly positioning. And for the shooter, I think it's intimidating. He makes himself as big as possible, and everyone knows he's athletic to boot. Quick pass to Doc. Shot! Denied with the glove by Dubnik. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Montreal's won the draw. Moves the puck. Boom! Wow, what a thunderous hit there! Wow, uh, that was incredible. Everyone is on their feet. Man, did he get nailed. On the attack along the boards. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Slides the pass over to Heatley. Montreal's got the puck. Quick feed to Pearson. Here's a chance. Hollandville scooped up the puck now here inside his own zone. And he connects with the long bomb. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. And the puck skips away after that move. And now it's over to Koibu. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Drills them. his team get possession right from puck drop guys his quick draw zone ability means he can win more face-offs and give his team the edge in those matchups michaels won the face-off down the left wing they gain the zone went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways he's got such a slick set of hands he's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one but he tries one too many james and he loses the puck the puck into the offensive zone. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Intercepted. He got all of that one. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivering and executing hits. Well, he certainly did there. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. And loses possession after a solid hit. Moves the puck over to Caulfield. Takes it to the net. And that's intercepted by Granlin. Oh, he rocked him on the play. Oh, you know that he felt that one, James. The body is reverberating after it. What a great hit. Slides the puck across to Caulfield. 
field. Takes the pass from the left wing. Here's a chance. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Dubnik's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. And now he tries to get it across to Slavkovsky. Minnesota's on the attack. There's a chance in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Oh, he'll feel that one. Handles the puck. Passes over to Matheson. Oh, he got thunderstruck on that hit. Sends it across. Oh, what a score! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Ah, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. When you're a butterfly goaltender and you drop into that position, it's all about playing your odds, making yourself as big as possible, and covering as much of the net as possible, James. But the shooter has a different idea. Great shot, it's accurate, and it finds a hole. The Canadians have made this a whole new game in period number two. The difference in a close game is often the details, James. And this is a group that have worked hard, they've had good habits, and they find themselves tied. Suzuki's gained possession inside the neutral zone. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Moves around along the half wall. And makes the save. Oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position. And once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Misses! Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a prime time scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Quick shot! Left save made by Dubnik. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Stalls won the draw inside his own end. Moves it to Perron. Oh, what a close save by Dubnik. to help box out attackers when they try to set up in front of his net. His bouncer zone ability can help limit those chances from in tight and keep that area clear. Stalls won a big draw on their own end. Looming as both centers get into position. Minnesota's won the draw. Gostas Bears stick handling in his own zone. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Sends the pass over. The Canadians cross the line and gain the zone. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Coming to the slot. That's the line. And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. We can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Wild have a little breathing room now, up by one. 
it's real important time right now, James. They've got the go-ahead goal. Now it's about having the killer instincts. Play in attack mode, stay aggressive. There's a lot of runway left, but if you can get another, you can really sink your opponent. Montreal's got it in their own zone. He got all of that hit. The Canadians gain possession. The Wild have it now. Rocked on the play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Michael. Sends it over to Johns. Intercepted a center by Doc. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. And now he angles it across to Michael. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Slavkovsky. The Canadians are in transition. Moves it quickly over to Johns. Grabs it in his own end. Looks to make a play over to Champion. Rocked him in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Niskanen. Look at that hit. Let's get physical. Grabbed along the board by Suzuki. And now he moves it to Koibu. Pass across to Silverberg. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Hammers the shot. And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game. And you got to fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And now it's over to Silverberg. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gallagher. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Shot. And that was stopped. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Montreal's put up a lot of shots, and so far plenty of scoring chances, and yet they still trail here in the second. And they win the draw on their own end. Slides it diagonally to Granlin. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. To the front! Scores! When you're in tight on the goaltender, you want to have patience and composure with the puck. You want to slide the goaltender out of position and put it by into the open net. Montreal's push from the offensive end gets them the equalizer they needed. Yeah, and with impeccable timing too, James. You know, at the end of the period, you always know you want to maintain your composure, but you also want to create a ton of energy. You don't want to be scored on, but you certainly want to score a goal. They did just that. They got themselves back at evens in this game. Solid hit on the play. Sends the pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Takes the feed. Montreal's got the puck in their own end. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. That stretch pass was a beauty, James. Made that stop. Dubnik's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high-danger shots, and he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team, giving him a real opportunity to win. Receives the pass. From the right side, they gain the zone. The Canadians were playing against the boards. Turn that one aside. The goaltenders have the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. Stars! showing his pure, natural goal-scoring ability. They used their speed on this counter-attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. It winds up in the back of the net. The Wild have to be feeling good after that goal here late in the period number two. They've got the lead now, Cheryl. Trying to take that momentum into the intermission. Yeah, you always want to play out front, but timing is everything. Now it's about game managing, but not being too conservative. Staying aggressive, but holding that lead into the intermission. Oh, thunderclap and knocks him off the puck. Power forward. James, you have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. Minnesota's got to be feeling 
good about their game here as we head towards the intermission. Already up by two now, late in period number two. Well, let's face it, it's been a hard-fought battle, but that last goal, I mean, it puts them in a great spot heading into the intermission. they are got to find a way to elevate off of it and keep the foot on the gas. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps them at bay. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Minnesota's ahead in this game, James, but for how long is the big question? I mean, the opponent just keeps storming back after a goal. This is a modern-day offensive game. No defense is being shown on this one. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Montreal's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender, trailing early in the third. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And some textbook body contact there. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Bufflin's got it now deep inside his own end. Here we go, odd man rush here. Sends it in front. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Well, there's contact and there's hitting in the game, James, but you can't be over aggressive. You have to slow up before you make that hit. It's the first penalty kill for this team tonight, guys, and we know their unit, it's ranked towards the bottom of the league, but this team's confidence can sometimes overpower the skill that they show. So let's see what they can get going here right now. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Gets it out of his own end. Through pass ahead. Pumps the puck away. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Quick pass to Suzuki. Misses. That's a massive miss, James. You're in primetime scoring area in the middle of the ice, and you go that far wide, that's a tough one. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Solid check to slow him down. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Takes it to the front. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Picked up along the wall by Granlin. And that's a great heads-up play by Doc. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Slides it over to Anderson. Takes the feed from the wing. Here's the feed in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. The Wild have the puck shorthanded. The Canadians have it against the wall. Big save. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. And he slides it quickly to Anderson. Back to the point it goes. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Quick feed to Palmanville. Shot! Great chance and an even better save! From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Champions gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Minnesota's won the face-off deep in their own end. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Drills them! And a solid effort by the penalty killers as we are back to even strength. Games I remember protecting a lead at the Olympic Winter Games and having to find a way to 
Mike to get that puck out and how critical it was to have good habits, be strong on the puck and play physical. This group did a great job. Montreal needs to convert on one of these scoring chances and they've had a lot of them tonight, but they still find themselves down in period three. Reaches out and uses the stick. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents oh. here. Not trying to take your job, James, but I had to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ring. Minnesota's got a three-goal lead. Michaels won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Champions taking it from his own end. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Drives to the point. Scores! Well, they needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. Yeah, it certainly was, and there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. The Canadians haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. They've got to find a way to get some chances. Montreal's gained possession along the boards. And the challenge is accepted. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. The Canadians find a way to send a clear message with that fight. They say, we're not going to be pushed around. We're tough, we're physical, and we're not going anywhere. Fair to say that was a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have cooled their jets. And here's the upcoming faceoff. Takes a shot! Gets a piece of it with the chopper! Every coach is gonna tell you, get... Oh! What a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. And we're gonna get a face-off after the offside. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Bradlin's effective in the dots, guys. He's always practicing taking face-offs, and he really prides himself on winning those matchups. That's what we call his quick-draw zone ability. Puck grab by Niskanen. Poked away at center by Silverberg. Taken by Savard. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Washington's coming up next on the schedule, and these two teams, doesn't matter where they are in the schedule, where they are in the standings, always a good contest. I'm looking forward to that. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. 
Feeds it down low. Moves it to Stahl. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Moves it quickly over to Caulfield. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Minnesota's moving it along the wing. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Here's a short pass to Matheson. And now he moves it quickly to Slavkovsky. Minnesota's number one line has been dominant tonight, James. They've been in the offensive zone. They've created a ton of opportunities, and they're a reason why they're in the lead. Denies him! He got all of it! Time winding down in this one. While we have a chance, let's go to Carlin Bay, standing by ringside. Michael's been engaged and was able to jump in on the offense, guys. I really liked his game tonight, so I'm going to give him the edge here. Scooped up along the wall by Burns. The Canadians gain control of the puck. Slides the puck over. That's gloved by Dubnik. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Montreal's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. Bufflin's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. Clears the zone, and they needed that. It's such a great play, James. I mean, at this time of the game, you have to find a way to get the... A chance on the rush here. Let's it go. Shuts the door. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Monaghan's been so dangerous tonight. He's got two in the game. You know he's looking for the Hattie. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off as the ref's lost sight of the puck. The Canadians are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Works it across to Heatley. The Canadians have it now. Jostles the puck loose. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Niskanen's moving the puck through his own zone. Great poke check on the reach. Kicked away, nice pad saved by the goaltender. Along the half wall with the puck. Fires it, and that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Here's a shot, and he stakes that one with the ball. In the final moments of this period, up to eight goals scored so far tonight, it's 5-3. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Into the offensive end now. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Picked up along the boards by Silverberg. The Canadians gain control of the puck against the wall. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Koivu. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. They've got some momentum here. And there's a great save by Dubnik. Anderson signing the penalty box is up, and he's got to get back to just finding his place within the game on the ice, and he gets a nice scoring chance right there that needs to give him some confidence. He can play physical, but he's also got to play with his brain. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. A critical face-off looms here. And the extra attacker is on the ice, James. So much pressure on the center to win this draw. Minnesota's got the win off that draw. Niskanen's loving the puck. Here they come on the attack. They score! Yeah, and this one will all but seal the deal. James, a real insurance marker, and a game well fought, and a win well earned. Sometimes he makes his way to the net, James, and I'm not even sure how he got there. He knows how to create space for himself, even when it feels like it's limited. He finds the room to dangle his way to the net. Montreal's offense and struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. The Canadians get a hold of the draw. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. Great win tonight, and this team's 
really starting to peak at the right time. And you know how our winning streak continues, James? You continue to push and play aggressive, and that's exactly what they did from the onset of this game. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute the Warriors here, Cheryl. Oh, well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between the fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. They're giving us the go-home cue, so we're going to get out of here. Thanks so much for joining, and we'll see you next time here on EA Sports.